Hey everybody, uh, happy Sunday. I am, uh, I've got the old uh, cell phone holder up on the windshield here, so I'm hands-free driving safely. Um, super, super excited. I just, um, after this past week, I just was just feeling really, really drained from all the stuff that's going on, and basically I just kind of, I needed to make space for what's coming, um, and all these exciting changes that are going on. Um, the struggle to get to where I am now is, is, is certainly uh, becoming less of a struggle each day. And uh, a lot of it has to do with me being ready to make the next step and make the next moves. And I'm, I'm just grateful for the opportunities that are coming to me. Um, my friend Terry invited me up to, I live in Coconut Creek, Florida. And my friend Terry invited me up to, to, to spend the weekend with her. And we just kind of hung out and just chilled out and we were just doing some talking. and. Then, we were kind of walking through my business plan and, and the whole and that whole deal, and but it was just nice to just get in the car because that's that's how I I like to just recharge. Because when you're out on the open road, it's just you and the open road. And I got Micah in the back seat, and she had a, a great opportunity to be able to. Uh, my my dog likes to take uh, car rides, and she likes to, to travel. And then um, Micah had an opportunity to make a new friend, Gage, and uh, and kind of chill out and show her show Gage who's queen. Gage is a considerably larger dog. He's a, a, like a pit bull sized dog, and Micah's about 40, 45 pounds, and she's a medium sized dog. But she was showing him who, who the boss was. Um, one of the things I, 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 I kind of I understand because I've been through that that piece before. But one of the things is that I was I know from a business perspective, and I want to talk to you about this, and I'll let you be talking about this in my book is uh, about goal setting. You know, it's very, very easy to sit down for your business and map out revenue goals. The harder part is, and the, and the more important part is that it's good that you have a goal and that basically when you're doing your business planning, you want to have a two-year plan. And in that two-year plan, you want to be setting your revenue goals so each revenue goal is, is mapped out to a, a monthly basis. And then behind each revenue goal, then, you want to be able to map out the activity. And that's the important part about goal setting. It's not just to sit there and, and feel fluffy and happy about mapping the goals out. It's being able to map out the activity that's going to produce the results to allow you to reach that goal. So the goal is part of your strategy and the activity behind reaching that goal or the tactical movements that you make on a daily basis that you execute to reach those goals. So I'll give you an example. If you're a business coach or if you're in any kind of um, professional services type industry, um, like coaching, what you want to focus on is you want to focus on, I want to set this goal, but you have to set the goal to, to produce that activity. So if my goal was to reach $10,000 a month in my coaching and consulting practice, I would want to set up, I would want to be focusing on what activities are I'm going to be able to do to be able to reach that goal. And the goal that I've set for myself is to be able to do 30 business presentations a month. Because I know out of those 30 business presentations, when I have, which I, I'm going to, which obviously then, once you set those goals for those 30 business presentations, then what you're looking for is you're going to, you're going to find out what your conversion rate is to sale. And then based on what you know, conversion sale, conversion rate to a sale, and like I said, my particular uh, uh, practice, I have multiple programs and multiple products. So you're going to be looking at what, the, not only what the, basically you're going to be looking at those multiple products. So the idea is that you're going to come in at the top end product and, and try to you know, be pitching that to the particular prospect and see what their feeling is on that. And you'll be having basically three products you'll be presenting during that, that particular sales presentation. Typically, you're going to see that out of about, you're going to see about, about a 30% conversion rate. So you're going to see about, you're going to get about six to eight group coaching clients out of that. 30 business presentations and then you'll get about two to three one-on-one -on -one clients. Now the model for my business is going to be uh, knowing that I know the, in the direction I'm going is I'm going to be pushing more towards group coaching than I'm going to be one-on-one -on -one clients because 
I only want to be working with crazy, passionate people, and I only want to be working with maybe five or to maybe seven one-on-one -on -one clients on a monthly basis. And you'll understand that more as I'm talking about that. So the idea is that you want to be able to set your goals based upon activity, not just set the goals and, and, and just feel fluffy about yourself. So what are the goal? What are the what are the activities that you're going to do well to support reaching those income goals? So if I know, as an example, and these are general numbers, these aren't real numbers, that three one-on-one -on -one clients is going to help me earn $3,000 a month, and that my group coaching program is going to be, let's say, $200 a month, well, then how many group coaching clients do I have to have and how many one-on-one -on -one clients do I have to have to reach that $10,000 a month goal? Kind of get the idea? So when you're setting goals, you want to set your goals so that you have a, a two-year plan, and then you want to be executing that that, that two-year plan in 60-day cycles, and then you want to be having daily and month, monthly and daily activity goals that you want to be reaching. So you want to break it down so you're, you're keeping the energy focused and your, your attention focused on what you want to achieve. So if you want to be able to come in, and, and, and I'm going to break it down, I guess, if you have a six, if you have a sixty-day cycle, you're executing your goals in, as far as your your, your 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 activities in to reach those goals, then you want to break that down into daily activities to support those goals, because you want to keep your energy focused. And then you know if you don't reach that particular activity goal for that day, that's okay. You know, do better the next day and punt it to the next day. Does that make sense as far as the, the goal setting? Set your goals. Have a two-year plan for your business. Break that down and just uh, and just and, uh, and break that down so you you are you're, you're, those two year two year goal is broken down into a monthly goals as far as revenue and then break those goals down into daily activities that you execute in sixty day cycles because every 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 thirty days you'll be evaluating where you're at to be able to help adjust accordingly to be able to adjust your plan accordingly to reach your overall business goals for the year. I mean, on a monthly, quarterly, and yearly basis. Got it? Um, what else is going on? Well, when I get home tonight, I'm going to start actually uh, doing the actual, which I mentioned my process for how I write books is, I, I wrote an outline for the book. The outline is pretty cool. It's, it's, it's good. It's about, it'll be about 10 chapters long, roughly 100 pages. Maybe a little bit more than that. And then my method is that I go through and I, I will go and I create a PowerPoint presentation for each chapter of the book. And then I record the chapter. And then I transcribe the chapter. I get the, tra the, the chapter transcribed into English. And then I give that to an editor. And the editor turns that all those chapters, once I've completed them, into my book. Pretty easy process. Um... Well, and then each chapter is going to have some exercises in it, and that you'll be able to get a hold of those exercises by, since it's a, it's a digital book, by clicking on the links in, the, in each chapter. You'll be able to download the workbooks for each chapter. Pretty cool, huh? Um, that turns into a lead generation tool, and that's the kind of the process for me writing books. Um, I mentioned how I'm going to be writing two books per year at least. What else do we want to talk about? Um... The overall structure as far as my business goes is I'm going to have, as far as programs, I'll have a, a, a group coaching program, I'll have a VIP day, and I'll have a one-on-one -on -one day, a one-on-one -on -one coaching, and I'll have an a la carte options, so that basically the a la carte options for my program, for the, the, the additional to the group coaching will be done for you marketing services. Um, that I, I have the capacity and the capability with the teams I have assembled to be able to do all your marketing and advertising for you and that I can manage that and I can drive the results that you want to get so you can focus on you doing what you do best, working with your clients and spending time with, with the ones that you love and care about the most. Um, what an awesome day out. It's 88 degrees. I'm on the turnpike on the Florida turnpike going south towards Coconut Creek. Uh, I guess I gotta...
give my wife a jingle. My wife will be back in uh, Tuesday. The sheriff will be back in town. Super excited about that. And that's all I can really think about now. Um, goal setting. When you set your goals, you want to be setting your goals. And, and typically, you want to have a two. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be a very detailed business plan, but you want to have a plan because that plan is going to guide you towards a strategy. And then you want to have. You want to break those that two years worth of two years of goals down into into monthly goals and, and into daily goals. And you want to be on, and you want to be focusing on in those daily goals. The activities are going to produce the results that you want. So you want to be focusing on activity more than you want to be focusing on the money, because the activity is what's going to produce the results necessary to generate the revenue. And you may actually be surprised that by focusing on the activities in your business, that you're going to be able to produce better than what you thought possible. Pretty cool, huh? Um, talked about the book. Talked about that stuff. Um, that's all I can really think about right now. Um, I'm going to be basically doing these every day as far as the videos are concerned. I actually, actually have to go back and post the last one I did. Um, it just feels good to kind of be back to my normal as far as energy level. And be able to be open to all the new stuff that's coming down the pipe. Um, I'm going to be launching the... That's, I guess, the last thing I'm going to talk about. be launching my effort to... Uh, demonstrate the system I've created to be able to create, uh, to be able to generate revenue from online that will only require you to work no more than eight hours per week to generate a significant amount of income. Um, I'm not going to tell you those, I'm not going to share all the income goals until I actually reach them. And then my uh, we'll be creating a, a program around that to help people uh, generate the necessary revenue that they need in order to create a better quality of life for themselves. That they, that they generate the revenue they need to be able to create a better quality of life. Um, that's about it. Um, I'm Ken German. I am the CMO for, Chief for small and medium sized businesses and I'm an executive leadership coach and I'm here to help you create your ideal lifestyle and uh, help you reach financial independence. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.